Hello there, and welcome to another ODU Esports stream. I am your caster, Benjamin Draper, and today we are going to be doing Rocket League as Varsity will, play, will be playing Radford University in a pretty high stakes matchup. Old Dominion is 5 0, and the ECAT or the Mates rankings, I should say, and Radford is 4 1. So it'll be a very important match to see which team will come out with the victory today and will earn the one seed as we're getting near the postseason play for both of these teams in Rocket League. It'll be, it will be very, inter 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 uh, very interesting how things will transpire with that one, but we also have JV Rocket, uh, Rocket League playing as well as they will be playing the University of Western Kentucky, as well as Overwatch 2 playing the University of Delaware. But those games will not be broadcast tonight. It'll only be a varsity matchup against the University of Radford. And we are going to be jumping straight into things as Old Dominion and Rafford taking place in game one of this best of five series. Let's see how things will transpire as you can see. We've got Just Dan and Curl all on the roster this evening. You can see Old Dominion with the goal already. Curl with the first goal with 90 seconds into the game. And Amana to jump out ahead as they get the first goal early on against the Rafford team. And as the start that they want on game one to get. for them and as we're talking about that Radford getting on the board so I shouldn't have said anything because right off of the rip off of that kickoff you can see Waffles credited with that shot as he will get the goal for this Radford team so after giving up the first four goals in the first two and a half minutes of this one Radford gets right back in it with a goal of their own so it is now 4-1 in favor of the Monarchs let's see how they can play out the last minute two and a half minutes here Trying to play it off the back wall. Rafa's trying to move it upfield. And you can see a demolition there on Kuro. And 
There's going to be a shot on net. That's a big shot. And just Dan is there with the goal. So a big goal for the Monarchs as they increase their advantage back to four goals once again. Just Dan moving up the field and a great assist there from his teammate and being able to get, get the goal as Goat God was there with a nice with a nice apple there with a nice assist. Yeah, the uh, music's off, so we're good. Well, yeah, I mean, it's whatever. I mean, as long as it's going fine now. So as we're trying to figure out the audio issues here, Monarchs with a four-goal advantage, 150 left in this game. They really just don't have to be aggressive here. They just got to defend this four-goal lead. And they've done pretty well defensively so far in this matchup so far. It, you can see they'll move it back into the corner, and Crow is going to be there. Trying to move it up the left side, and he'll move it up field as he's not going to be able to get there in time to get that touch. And Turks will move it up the field off of that back wall into the left corner. But the Monarchs moving back up the field, and Goka with a shot on that going a little wide to the right side. And unfortunately, that's a missed opportunity for the Monarchs as they seem to have the advantage there on timing with, in terms of the counterattack, and they just weren't able to capitalize. And you can see a big shot there from Turks. And you can see Joshi trying to get it back in front of the net for this Radford team to try to get a possible goal to at least cut into this Monarch deficit. But with a minute left to go here, the Monarchs in, in full control of game one here of this best of five series. And there's another goal from Just Dan, and that should be the hat trick. So throw out the hats for Just Dan as he moves up the field all by himself. He gets the ball over the defenders, plays it off the back wall, and gets it right into the net as nobody is there to defend it. So with less than a minute to go. Monarchs have a five-goal advantage in this one as they are looking very good early on in the series tonight. And off the kickoff, so Gokot's going to have a shot on that. It's going to be defended. Won't actually be counted as a shot on goal, but a nice opportunity for them to possibly get something going on out front. And you can see Rafford is trying to do something. Get out of the zone. You can see a nice hit there from Gokot, and he's going to win that 50, and he will get the goal. So Gokad with another goal. That's his second goal of this game. And he manages to get it into the zone once again. He wins that 50 and able to put the ball right into the net. As it is now 7-1 in their favor. So the Monarchs, a decisive lead right now. And we'll see what they can do in the final 37 seconds of this one. As they just need to close things out and move on home into game two of the series. There's a shot on that from Rafford. And you can see another shot. The follow-up is there as Joshi will get the goal. So Old Dominion gives up a goal in the later seconds of this game. As you can see, Gokad misses the touch there. And you can see a good a, a good save there from Curl. And Just Dance not there to get, get the defending on time on the follow-up shot. So Rafford gets another goal in this game as it is now 7-2. There's a big save there from Gokad as the shot was on net from Waffle. And there's a shot on net from Curl. That's a big shot, but he's gonna say he's gonna be defended from Waffle. And there's a follow-up from Just Dan. And the final seconds of this game, the Monarchs still firing all the shots on net and maintaining offensive pressure, but the ball is gonna fall on the ground. And the Monarchs will score the game one victory. So an impressive effort from this Monarch team as Gokad will win the MVP of that one. As you can see, the hat trick from Just Dan with a pair of goals from Gokad and Crow as well. So a total of 12 shots in that game with only three saves needed in that one. So Radford did not provide any offense in that game. But the Monarchs, they provided so many uh, shot opportunities. 12 shots to three was the difference in that game as the Monarchs score the 7-2 the victory. And they move along in the series. And if you guys are just joining in. This is a big this is a big game tonight. Old Dominion is the one seed in our bracket right now. They're five and zero on the season, and Rafford is four and one in the bracket. And they're right there behind the Monarchs. So this is a big game in terms of seeding as we're getting near the postseason play and the Monarchs with a decisive game one victory. But don't count out Rafford just yet. I believe Rafford will have something. Uh, we'll have some adjustments in game two as we're going to be getting set up for that. But in the meantime, we're going to take a short break here as the Monarchs are up one zero in the series tonight.
Jeez. Have to go get some water real quick, but in the meantime, Monarchs with the 2 1 advantage, only 40 seconds into this game. But they have their early advantage as they're trying to improve their series lead. After scoring a game one victory, there's a shot on net from Jossie, and it's a big save from Kuro. So the Monarchs scored that 7 2 victory in game number one. They have the advantage in the series so far. And it is a best of five series, so the first team to win three games of this five will be the victor in, th in this one, and they will improve the record as we get later into the season. See what the Monarchs can do here. You can see Waffle trying to move it down the, the field and the Monarchs in the left corner trying to defend it and Jossie's there with the touch and Carl with the demolition himself. So minute 30 gone by. There's a shot on net from Gokan and that's a big save there from Turks. Ball being played, being played at midfield. And you can see Waffle is going to get the touch as Turks is going to move it up the right side. And with two minutes already gone by in this game, Monarchs in the driver's seat at the moment here. 2-1 in their favor. And that's a big shot from Jossi. Joshi as Justin will get credited with the save. So they'll move it back up the field. But Waffle will keep it in as Goka will get credited with that demolition. And Rath are just maintaining possession in the Monarch zone. They just haven't been able to put shots on the goal. And Justin moves it up the field. And that may be a missed opportunity, but it'll go wide. And Waffle trying to get it out in front. There's going to be a shot on net, but Justin is there to defend it as Joshi will get the shot on goal. But the Monarchs pretty staying well on the defensive side at the moment. So it's 2-1 in their favor. And let's see what thing, how things will transpire as Old Dominion just trying to preserve this 2-1 lead at the moment here. And Curl's going to move it up the field off the right side. Off of that back wall, nobody to follow up, and Waffle is going to be there to move it back up the field and just down to defend it. And Gokad will move it back into the offensive zone. He'll get a shot on net, nobody defend it, and there's the goal. So Gokad gets it up the field, a nice play at midfield to keep it back, uh, to put it back into the offensive zone and maintaining that aerial work as he gets the follow up shot in midair. And the Monarchs with a 3 1 advantage as it is now two, as with 2.07 left to play in this matchup as it is game two of this series with them in the lead right now. And you can see a shot on net there from Turk. So Gokad with a good save there and it'll move it up the field as Just Jan trying to move up the right side, but Joshi is there to defend it. And there's gonna be a shot on net from Gokad, but it'll be saved from Turks in the moment. So it'll be in the left corner. Curl off of the sidewall. There's a shot on goal and there it is. So Curl gets the goal for the Monarchs as it is now four to one in this matchup as they improve their advantage to a three goal game with 146 to play, so an impressive effort from the Monarchs offensively as they have managed to put up 11 goals to Radford's three in this series so far. So off of the kickoff, Joshi trying to get something out centered for Radford, not gonna do much off of it. So Monarchs just trying to play defensively in the final 95 seconds of this one. You can see Kuro with the demolition on his end. So they have, they'll have the man advantage for a few seconds here. But in the corner, Old Dominion just trying to get it out of the zone as Waffle trying to get a center out for this Radford team. But it's going to go far side and it'll be on the left side as Joshi trying to get a center out for Radford. He'll manage to get something going off the back wall and nobody's there to follow up at the moment. There's going to be a follow up shot. But it'll be safe from Gokad and it moved in the left corner once again. So a minute five left to play. Monarchs with a three goal advantage. They just got to maintain. And they'll move on into game three, which will potentially be a match point against this Radford team. And a missed touch there from Curl, but the Gokad is there to maintain off of the corner. Trying to play off of that bounce out of the corner. And Just Dan's going to play off of their bounce. He's going to win it. He's not going to be able to get the shot on that cleanly as it'll be deflected towards the right side into the corner. So 37 seconds left to play. Rathford moving back into the offensive zone. A nice bounce on their end. Shot off of the pose. That's unfortunate for them and not going to be able to secure a goal in the final seconds here. The final 30 seconds as we're playing and Radford just misses that big opportunity which would have been a goal in their favor to cut it down to a two goal deficit. deficit. But the Monarchs just moving it back to down back down the field on their own and Just Dan's going to get demolition in the process. So 10 seconds left to play in this one and Radford's going to try to get something centered out after the Left corner, there's a shot on net, and there's the goal. Joshi's going to get credited with the goal as Waffle with an assist out of the left corner. 
and being able to get it out and get the bounce off that back wall right in front and playing down low on that shot instead. And Rafford's going to cut into this lead. They could have made another goal in this one. It could have been 3-4 in favor of the Monarchs, but it'll be a two-goal advantage with six seconds left to play. And off the kickoff, they'll get the advantage there, but the Monarchs will move it back up the field one second to play. So no matter what, the Monarchs will win this game regardless of what transpires in this final second. In this final second. So that will be it. So the Monarchs will win 4-2. They improved their series lead to 2-0 in this one, and they are going to move ahead. As you can see, an impressive effort from the Monarchs, being able to tally 10 shots in that game with a hat trick from Curl. So hats off to Curl getting the hat trick in that one and just being able to save. I mean, look at all the saves. There's seven saves overall for the Monarchs. You got to love the effort from them on both ends of the field as they've just had an impressive series uh, so far against this Radford team. And I believe we have our JV team playing as well against Western Kentucky. And we also have JV Overwatch with Delaware. We'll have to see the update on those games and we'll, pro we'll probably provide it to you going forward as we'll try to figure out the thing uh, going on for that. But in the meantime, we're going to take a short break and we're going to get ready for game three as the Monarchs are out ahead 2-0 in the series looking for a clean sweep against the second seeded Bradford University. But in the meantime, we're going to take a short break and we'll be back for game three. And welcome back. Short break it was. And Old Dominion is going to try to look for a queen sweep off the kickoff. And there's going to be the shot on goal. So off of the rip. The Monarchs are on the board as it is now 1-0 in their favor. And just down with a nice touch off of that kickoff. And Carroll just plays off of Waffle and wins at 50. And they jump out ahead 1-0 here. And a win take all in their situation. And Rafford, they need to win out in this series if they want to possibly get the victory tonight. But a great start for the Monarchs here in Game 3 as they're looking to close it out in a clean sweep fashion. And the shot on net from Turks can be defended pretty well from the Monarchs. As you can see, they'll move it back up the field. Midfield, there's a shot on net. Just Dan with it, and w Turks is there to save it. So another chance for the Monarchs early on as they're trying to increase that advantage. Playing off of that, and there comes Curl right up the field again. It's going to be a nice angle. Nobody's going to defend it. And Curl, 35 seconds into this game, he already has a pair of goals under his belt, and he just wins that touch. And being able to make it back down the field, nobody's to defend it. Waffle tried to get it out in time, but it was just a little too little too late. As Old Dominion jumps out to a 2-0 advantage with Curl getting the pair of goals. you got to love this for this Monarch team. Let's see what they can do to try to increase this advantage with 40 seconds already transpired. See, Carl's going to get demolition in the process there, and Gokai will keep it in the left corner. And Rafford trying to move it back down the field. It's, they're going to have to play it off the back wall. Gokai's going to move it up. And no win at 50 for the time being. Waffle's going to get there. And you can see the Monarch trying to move it back up the field as they're just trying to get more offensive pressure, which they've showcased already in the a minute 15 of this match already played. And here comes Curl out of the left corner. He'll get the center right there. A nice bump. Oh, my goodness. Curl with the hat trick. What a goal from Curl as they managed to get another one on the board. And you see Curl moving out of the left corner. A beautiful bump on Waffle as he manages to get another goal into the back of the net. It's 3-0 Old Dominion, and Curl has the hat trick. What a start against this Radford team in this game three. Minute 30 already gone by here. Radford in dire need of some some sort of light on their end because they just have not had any answers for Old Dominion so far in the series as they've just managed to get another goal. And as we're talking about another goal, Curl scores his fourth goal of the game and a minute 20, a uh, minute 41 already into this one. Four goals on the board, and the Monarchs are looking very nice 
in this series as they're looking to get the clean sweep. And with a lot of time left, it's Rocket League. Radford can definitely make a comeback, but they need to find some sort of spark of life here because they just have not done anything offensively. And Kuro has had a heyday so far in this one as he's looking to increase his stats performance right now. And you can see they'll move it back into the defensive zone. And Waffles in the corner trying to get a center out, but you can see Goat God with a nice touch getting it up the field. Not going to be able to get out of the zone though, and the shot is going to go wide into the left corner. And a big demolition on Turk's part there, getting Kuro in the process. And Rafford's going to get the ball over defender for Monarchs, and they'll win that 50 right there. But Kuro is there to defend it at midfield and keep it in the offensive zone for a little bit. And Joshi's trying to move it upfield for Rafford. And here comes the counterattack from the Monarchs. A shot on net from Goat God off of the crossbar. And here comes this Radford team once again moving up the right side, but Curl gets a demolition on his own, returning the favor after getting demolition a few seconds later, uh, a go, I should say. So 2.20 left to play. Here comes Curl with the shot. What an angle. Oh, my goodness, what a setup also. But he just not he is not able to get the goal. But my goodness, what an opportunity for the Monarchs to increase this lead to five goals. But he's not going to be able to find the back of the net on that opportunity. Let's see what they can do here. As Goat got moving up the right side, and it's going to be a shot on net possibly, but it'll go to, it will actually go a little left of the post. It'll go wide. So less than two minutes to play here. Radford has not done anything offensively. And Monarchs in firm control of this game so far. And they are just looking to end this series in three games and not needing to make it anything more than it needs to be. And really showcase that they deserve to be this one seed in this division. So 90 seconds left to play here. This ball being played at midfield. And Joshi not getting a good, good touch off of there. And Curl is going to try to get it out to Gokart at midfield. Not going to be able to do much off of that. Into the corner they go. And Turk's trying to get it out for Radford, but Curl and Gokad in the right corner. There's a demolition from Curl. And there's a shot on net from Justin, and there's another goal. So the Monarchs possibly just putting the dagger in the coffin here as they just make it 5 nothing. And it is now it's going to be 110 left to play, and Radford got to get desperate here, but it really just looks like Old Dominion is going to have a clean sweep tonight. And off of the kickoff, Turks with a good shot on that, but Goat God with a nice save himself. And here possibly getting a follow-up from Radford, trying to preserve the shutout. And as we're talking about the shutout, Joshua gets the shot on net above, I believe it was uh, Just Dan in the process there, as Just Dan just trying to get it out, keep it out of the net. And Joshua just wins that and being able to get it in. So with less than a minute to play, Radford is finally on the board as it is now 5-1 in favor of the Monarchs. Let's see if Radford can try to do something off of that goal off of that kickoff they'll get a good bounce from the monarchs and it be defended pretty well off that back wall as Bradford moves it back up the field the right side they'll go shot on that but goat god is there with a nice save himself and turks trying to get something centered out in front for his teammates but not going to do much off of that a nice back hit but still in favor of the monarchs they're just holding firm defensively as it's 5-1 in their favor 30 seconds left to play So with 20 seconds left to play, a nice save again from Curl, I believe, from Old Dominion, and they're just being able to give up, not give up anything more than what they need to do. And another big save from Goat God as Waffle with the shot on that, and there's a follow up, but it's going to be defended pretty well. Ball's at midfield, and the Monarchs will maintain their undefeated streak here in Rocket League, and they will move to 6 0 this season. They will get the points they need in the division, and they will take down the two seed, Radford University, and a clean sweep. As you can see, Curl, the MVP of that one, four goals from Curl. Just an impressive effort from the Monarchs overall in that series. And a, a very quick series. I was not really expecting that one to be so quick, but save, they really showcased a lot of offense through that series. And Radford, they didn't get any goals in game three there. They really, I, can't, I didn't see the shot count, but I'm pretty sure Radford didn't even get five shots on goal. Or they did, actually. There was a lot of saves at the end there. But nonetheless, I mean, Radford just not able to find the back of the net can't find the back of the net there's not only there's only so much you can do in that situation and varsity they moved to six and oh Rafford they moved to four and two Rafford should maintain with the two seed in the division I'm I believe but with the victory the Monarchs still 
will be the number one seed and they'll be looking ahead to postseason action as this Rocket League team is destined for some for some quality success we hope in postseason hopefully they can do pretty well going forward but in the meantime we're going to take a short break here i believe we'll try to get an interview with one of the players and then we're going to be right back after the break
Hello there and welcome back. We are joined by Evan Neal, also known as Curl, our top member of our ODU Rocket League team tonight. And an impressive perform performance it was against this Radford team. Radford, they were the two seed behind you guys at 4-1 on, on the season. You guys are 5-0. and It's a pretty big matchup in terms of seeding, getting close into the postseason. What are you guys' overall thoughts about tonight's performance? And, I mean, four goals in that game three. I mean, what, what was working for you in game three of that series? I mean, everything just seemed to go, go in your favor, all the time, the timing for all those goals and just being able to have the angles. And you also had, like, other, other opportunities in that game to possibly get the five or six goals. But, I mean, just overall, just talk about your individual performance and helping out and getting the victory tonight. I mean, you know, some games you have bad luck. And some games you have good luck. And everything's involved. Mm-hmm. And how was you guys' defensive uh, play going, uh, working out for you guys? How were the comms going for you guys? Because I know that comms could be a little bit iffy here and there, but in terms of like rotations, timing, and the counterattack, how was that working out for you guys? Well, you know, we've been working with uh, the coach that we have, and uh, he's really uh, emphasized, emphasized just how important defense was. So we've been making sure to call back whenever you know we don't have to lose to the first and stuff like that. And like I mentioned, you guys are you guys were five and zero. You increased your record to six and zero with the victory tonight. I mean, kind of give us your thoughts about finishing off this regular season six and zero, and kind of give us what you guys are thinking about looking ahead into the postseason. Well, you know, uh, at least on our side of the bracket, you know, we were able to you know sweep everyone, or at least you know win every game. But on the other side, there's still teams like Nova and uh, JMU who are both very good. So you know, we just got to take. And just talking about like the other brackets, I mean, what's kind of like the motto or like the mindset for your team like going forward? Because now it's winner take all. Like if you lose like your next match, like the season's over with. Like what's kind of the mentality for the team going forward as you're getting ready into the postseason? Well, it's mainly just that uh, you know, stay confident. Yeah, so that is going to be it for our questions. Um, I I thank you for joining us for a few moments uh, here after your victory tonight. An impressive performance for you individually, an impressive performance for you guys as a team. You guys improved your record to 6-0. and You have no losses on the regular season. You're looking really good for postseason, and uh, we'll have to see how things will transpire there. But that is gonna, that's going to be it for our interview, as Evan Neal, also known as Curl, has joined us for a few minutes, and we will be right back after the break for, uh, for closing comments.
and welcome back folks i am we are joined here for our fi uh, final comments tonight and we have a little bit of an update uh, for our other games going on for jv rocket league i believe they just took a 2-1 series lead and their series against western kentucky so we hope all the best works out for them and they're able to finish that series with a dub on their end and i believe the overwatch team they're competing pretty well in their series so far tonight as they have the lead i believe so those are just a little updates on uh, other games going on but back to the main game that we've been doing tonight uh, for our broadcast uh rocket league our varsity team they scored the 3-0 clean sweep over radford university curl was the mvp throughout that series and just and a decisive a victory for the Monarchs. They improved their record to 6-0. They maintain an undefeated season in the regular season. They maintain their one seed in their division as they look ahead to the postseason. And it's gonna be very interesting to see how things will play out for them. As they have a lot of mo they have a lot of momentum and they have a lot of they a lot of have a lot they have a lot of heart and soul putting uh put into this and being able to make sure that they can put out the best that they can and try to see what they can do going forward. But in the meantime, we're going to be uh, wrapping things up here as we're going to be getting set up for our next streams later on in this week. It'll be we'll have two more streams later on this week. It'll be Friday and Saturday as they'll both be League of Legends streams Friday night. It'll be JV against the University of Delaware. Meanwhile, on Saturday afternoon, it'll be the uh, varsity matchup against uh, American University. And for Friday's matchup, it'll be an 8 p.m. start and then for Saturday, 3 p.m. And if there's anything, uh, if there's any changes that needs to be made, we will be posting uh, accordingly on our social media platforms where you can follow us at ODU Esports, as well as following us here on Twitch and YouTube as well. But in the meantime, I have been your caster, Benjamin Draper. We hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. We will see you guys on Friday night for League of Legends and have a great night.